Guys, I have 10 reasons why you should stop fumbling around with your own business and go get a job. Look at this traffic over here. Just look at all these cars. Look at all these people. Terminix. There's a good, there's a good entrepreneur, and there's a guy that's working for him. Uh, that's a small business, most likely. There's garbage trucks over there. Um, tractor trailers. Probably owned by that guy on the motorcycle. Uh, there's a cop car that just came by. You know, there's a lot of... Every 10 seconds, I, I see about five uh, business trucks go by either the freeway or my street here. Reason number one, you're probably not an entrepreneur. You're probably not somebody that's going to create so much value that it's going to pay your uh, somebody's bills or an employee's bills. If you're an employee, you get these 10 things, okay? These are 10 things you get if you have a real job, okay? Like I said, the one and only reason why you should consider these 10 things is because you're probably not an entrepreneur that's gonna create so much value for people that it's gonna pay your bills or anybody's bills. Reason number one, you get to prove your income if you have a job. So you could afford a house someday or build your credit or buy a car, you can prove your income to somebody that would let you borrow money so you can live. Reason number two, vacations. You could have vacations, you could have weekends off, you could have holidays, whatever it is. Think about teachers. They have every holiday off, they have all of summer off, okay? Reason number three, which might be reason number one for most of you guys in your 20s, is you get the girl. You get to have a girlfriend. If you're trying to build your own business, sure, someone might come along that you love or whatever, if you have your own job and you're making decent money, you get to now have a female companion who values somebody who has money, a house or a car, or a steady income. I'm not saying gold diggers. I'm saying 99% of women, if they're looking to raise a, have a family eventually and stuff, they want a guy with a consistent career ahead of him, not some bucket Joe wannabe entrepreneur who in his mind is so proud of himself, but doesn't translate to the female, if you know what I mean. You get a good job, you get a girl, period. Shout out to Luke the window cleaner and uh, uh, Keith Kelfers and myself for cleaning windows with my wife, so it contradicts that little thing, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm, talk I'm not talking about that side of it. Obviously, I know a lot of guys that build their business and their wife helps them. That's a very few and far between, okay? Most guys, their wives want them to go just have a job or make sure they're bringing home money and they're not that impressed with their window cleaning uh, ego, okay? All right, number four. Four is edification of your own life. Somebody else, an entrepreneur who knows what he's doing, <clears throat> has created this hierarchy, this ladder you can climb up rung by rung and know exactly, okay, every year I'm going to make more. Every year I'm gonna have my bonuses. I know exactly what to achieve. I know, I know exactly where I'm going and they will reassure me and edify my life. Try doing that as a sole proprietor where you're constantly failing and, and nobody, including your wife and kids, nobody tends to know where you're truly at inside and you get lost in this filth of busyness and then you end up in your 30s or 40s and you're like, man, I wish I just, I feel like I'm high up on the ladder, but I'm just a window cleaner still. I wish, I wish I had a ladder to climb. Five, the clock. You clock in, you clock out. Maybe you're on salary and you're supposed to work about eight hours a day, 10 hours a day, whatever it is. If you're part of the highway patrol, you work pretty much three 12 hour, a 12 hour shift three days on three days off man alive you know when you the clock starts you and when the clock stops you if you're if you're a business owner that it doesn't happen that doesn't exist and you take that for granted when the clock strikes you now are done you don't need to go back to your work you don't have to go check in your hopefully your but if you have a decent job your boss isn't texting you after hours uh, like I do my employees texting hey did you get the info did you get this did you get that man these trash truck guys probably make 22 to 25 an hour and they just they do their route and they go home 
the mailman does their route, goes home. Nobody knows what they do after that, okay? And nobody cares if you run your own business. You just never get that, okay? Number six, somebody else created a game for you. This kind of goes along with the ladder and the clock in, clock out. You can get up, I mean, think about it. You can get up a couple hours early from work and nobody cares where you're at. Nobody, nobody knows. Just, you just gotta be there by nine. And you know the game. Somebody else created a game for you to play. You get there, you get your coffee, you talk to Bill, you talk to Bob, you talk to Sally, and you sit down in your computer, a couple hours later you decide to start working, have a meeting, blah, 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 you go home, you get your paycheck, right? Somebody else created a game that you can be excited about. Try getting up with manic depressiveness or uh, Asperger's or OCD, and there's kids around you, there's a wife around you who's who has a whole different agenda that day. You try getting up, there's no game, you have to create some game, and some days you just don't wanna be anything. You wanna just have everyone leave you alone for a month. Where's my game? No one created a game for me. I have to create some game to go be motivated to go work. And that's why another reason, number six, someone else creates a game for you to play every day, okay? Number seven, this goes with the ladder and salary and vacations <clears throat> and stuff is you can build your life. Year by year, you get better, you get raises, you move up in the ladder, and you can build your life. You can take your kids to school at a certain time. You, can, you know what you can afford. You can budget. You can take your weekends off and go to school so that your job is even, you could get paid even more. Someone else is helping you build your life. That's amazing. Try doing that as an entrepreneur you're most likely gonna fail in your own business, but if you even succeed, you just have to do it again and again. Nobody, nobody building your life for you. I could have the most successful year. We went to 10,000, then we did 20, then we did 40, then we did 60, and then the next year we did 180 once we did the certain thing that I'll tell my uh, people that I coach. The next year we back down to like 80 and Nobody cares out there. You have to continue, continue to build your life based on what you did the year before. If you have a business, I mean, if you have a job, they just kind of build that life for you and you, you can leverage and build your life with that company. Try doing that as an entrepreneur, it's almost impossible. Unless I'm your coach or you have a good coach. Number eight, and these are in no order and there's tons more, I could probably do 100. Number eight is you could have hobbies. This goes with money and time and clock and clock out. You can have hobbies. You can develop yourself. You can have a ministry at church or you can take your kids to parks and you can have your consistent hobbies where it's kind of sad that if, if window cleaning is your hobby, you don't have a job necessarily. You have a hobby and you're you're this artist and, you're, and you don't have a salary. So your hobby becomes very annoying because now you're relying on your hobby to produce an income. And where's the time to fly kites with your kids? Number nine probably could be the last one. <clears throat> Retirement. Consistently putting money away and not having your entrepreneur brain grab a hold of that $10,000 you just saved and invest it again. You have a job, it stays in a certain location. When you retire at 40, 50, 60, it's there. I know of someone in their 20s doesn't wanna think about being 60, you're gonna be there and you're gonna feel exactly like you do now. You're gonna feel 20, but just all this time has gone by and you're gonna really value wanting to have grandkids and be able to provide for your grandkids and your wife and everybody. And truly your focus is gonna be on your family and you don't wanna be some goofball out there darkening around with windows, you could have just had this really nice career, okay? And you could be providing and taking care of your family. Retirement, number nine. Number 10, we'll just sum it up and we'll add benefits. I've paid cash for every single one of these crowns for the last like two years. Every month, boom, and they're like 1,200, no, they're about 1,100 bucks a piece. Get the cash, bring it in, here you go, one more crown and I got 16 more to go, you know, as of like a couple years ago. So benefits comes in at number 10 and we have a many more we could obviously say. 
I'm Chuck Rolf, CNC Window Cleaning. If you decide to own your own business and it's a window cleaning business, give me a call, 619-402-5265. Dispatch will give me your information. And if you're crazy enough to want everything I just said and own your own business, so you could have freedom added to it, then call me today and I'll show you how.